dehydrating literally everything that we get. Because you can literally dehydrate anything. Come on, Jake. We're not going up there. Come on. So I'm going to try to preserve as much food as I can this year and maybe even can some. Which I have no idea how to can. My mom and dad does. They grew up on canned food like they used to do all the time. But I've never canned a food in my life. Sorry, guys, for interrupting this video. But I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on and some other stuff. But thank you. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video because YouTube Record the Hate Speech is like every other independent creator on this platform as of lately because YouTube is stonks unless you're a late night talk show host but if you guys really want to help me and support my channel you can do what is happening right here probably beside my face or where my finger's pointing right there see you can subscribe click the bell and there's some ding dings right there see that, that's pretty but really guys if you want to do that it would really help my channel now let's get into the actual video so what? hello welcome back to my channel today is monday and i totally didn't just start filming because it's totally not our clock and i totally didn't get up like an hour or two ago because i totally wasn't on like doing housework and stuff and i didn't get to bed till five o'clock in the morning so yeah woo. Uh, <laughs> anyways guys so i don't know if i told you about this but the last couple of vlogs <laughs> it felt like it's been spring because it's been like 50 60 40 degrees every day now it feels like winter it's like 20 degrees outside and it's gonna be like 12 tonight and then like 14 and then it's gonna be really cold for a while so winter is officially here now i think woohoo it's actually spitting snow. It's actually a little bit snow outside. Not very much. It wasn't. It, wasn't, it wasn't didn't complete much, but it did snow. But yeah, we have. It's really cold outside, which is why I have all this gear on because I was outside walking my dog around or walking around. So we're gonna do an awkward walk. Let's get this started. We'll come back. Hi guys, I'm back. We're out here gonna walk my dog around and put the chickens away in like 30 minutes because but I should be home here in like 30 minutes and I haven't done nothing today. I haven't even ate breakfast. Well, breakfast technically it's a break fast because I haven't ate nothing since like 8 o'clock yesterday or 10 o'clock or something like that. So it's been like 12 hours. Come on, Jake. We're going this way. Woo. Ugh. The volume of intermittent fasting. I could do it now. Boy, gee whiz. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Yeah, look. There's a little bit of snow out here. There's a little, like, you can see, like, ice and snow. But it's really cold. It's going to be really, really cold here in the next couple days, too. Because winter is finally here, I guess. Because it, it was a late bloomer. It, it, was, it rained on Christmas. In like three days after Christmas, it just got done raining yesterday. And it's been raining since Christmas, basically. Like pouring, well, say, yeah, basically since Christmas, it's pouring rain down like every day. And today, it was the first day, yesterday it turned to snow. And now all the mud froze, which is a lot better on me because it's really muddy. Especially in front of the chicken house, it was, it was gross. But the chickens do not like me getting up this late. But of course, it doesn't really, in the winter time, they're not really need to be outside in the cold too much anyways. Especially the smallest chickens we have, like the, the, uh... Little white ones, uh, yeah. longhorn, leghorns, whatever you want to call them, leggings. If you're down south, <laughs> they uh, they don't take the cold very well, so it's actually good for them to be locked up. But the bigger chickens, they don't really mind it. And also, yeah, but <laughs> I'm rambling on about nothing now. Whew, it is <sighs> actually pretty cold out here. I shouldn't be. Well, it's not cold enough to put on my big coat yet, but I might have to wear some layers here soon. <laughs> Which I actually got some for Christmas. Woohoo! By the way, guys, I think I told you guys this, but, man, it feels like I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I don't know why it feels like it's been so long. Uh, oh. So, I updated on my cha on my YouTube channel, I guess, because I've been doing a lot of video games lately. Uh, I said I was going to beat Minecraft. That's out of window. I just got bored of playing Minecraft, which I might go back and play a mod of Minecraft. Like, all the mods. Six, because that seems fun, which is, like, my roots of Minecraft, because I used to play a lot of mod of Minecraft. I don't know. And there's a deer down there looking at me. So, you guys see it? You guys probably can't see it. It's way out in the distance. Come on, Jake. We're not going to Come on. Get up here. Uh, I'm going to go back and play Mud Minecraft, but the base Minecraft game, eh, I got bored of it. Don't know why. I just can't get into Minecraft. I, I feel like, like I've played... Man, look. It's so cool to leech bros in there. That's how cold it is out here. But uh, I just can't play... If I had something to play with, I would be able to play Minecraft a lot better. But I have no friends that play PC Minecraft. They all play the Windows 10 Edition or Pocket Edition or Xbox Edition or whatever. Which all the same thing, which is Windows Edition. Nowadays, it used to be different, but now it's all the same. I think your PS4 used a different version, and the Switch used a different version of Minecraft, but yeah, everything else is the same now. But, that's the point. We have people to play with, like, but I don't, so Minecraft is a piece of but, but I'm going to start playing some different games. I got a new hard drive for my Xbox, which is cool, because all I was doing was my base storage for my Xbox, was like 500 gigabytes. And if you didn't know, some games are massive nowadays, like GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 is like 300 megabytes, or gigabytes of data. I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is like 100 and... I got the GTA 2, I think Red Dead 2 is like 150 and GTA is like 80 gigabytes and then boom, you're basically done with all your storage. You get like, so I only had like a couple of you on Xbox and 
My internet's so slow, it takes forever to download games. Especially ones like you don't use a disc with. So it takes forever. So I ended up deleting like all my games on my Xbox, which is why I don't really play my Xbox very much. But I got a new hard drive, two terabytes, which is pretty much, I think, all I'm going to need, I think, for a while. So I'm bringing out a little of my games. I've been doing it for like two weeks now. And I'm about halfway done. Woohoo! So I'm going to start playing different different games on my Xbox. This should be fun. I'm going to start playing The Witcher again. Uh, maybe GTA. I don't know. It's, it's going to be like adult games. And I know my channel is more friendly, family friendly, but I'm going to be playing like The Witcher. Which is not so family friendly game in the GTA. And Call of Duty and stuff like that. So, yeah. I know I'm, I'm like family friendly because I do vlogs and talk about the garden and stuff. But, yeah. Also, guys. Update on our garden. Which we, we've already been fighting about it. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do the garden. I really want, I want to go no-till. So, what I'm thinking about doing, which I don't really want to use a tarp because it's expensive. Which I might do is try to kill the cover crop by just mowing it and let it grow to like right before it flowers. Like if you let stuff grow right before it flowers and you mow it, it'll basically die. And then you can plant right in and it'll have all kinds of debris. Which right now, most of the stuff in the garden is dead anyways. Because it got really cold and it killed everything. Except for like the rye and a couple other things. So that should grow back nice and thick and then we'll mow it once it gets nice and big. But, and it should kill it I think. Hopefully it should kill it. And then we just, uh plant right into the debris which is what we might do or we might get a tarp tarp for like two weeks which i don't really want to do that because tarps are a pain in the butt have you ever had to put a tarp on a garden especially where we live because it's really really windy especially in the springtime and plus our springtime is very narrow to so plant stuff and get it out so you can't really put a tarp out there for like six weeks at a time and let it really do its thing and kill everything because it doesn't get really hot and then by the time it gets hot enough to kill everything it's time to plant uh the main garden and it's like eh. so i might just plant i might just mow it could we have like a lawnmower like a mulching deck on it so you can mulch it up real fine and boom or i might just take a scythe to it and cut down like that scythe scythe whatever you want to call it but that calls it a scythe which i think is just a scythe so i don't know we'll see how that goes and then we'll just drop it and because i really want i really want to go no-till and organic we're already organic we've been organic for well my dad maybe uses uh, insect spray because we get rid of bad squash bugs every once in a while. But last year we uh, kept them under control with like organic stuff. But this year I'm going to try to do it the old natural way without using any kind of spray or anything. Because any, anytime you use any kind of spray for anything, it kills the good bugs too. So it's really bad for the population of good bugs. So this year we're going to plant a whole bunch of flowers. Like that one here I showed you in the garden. It's going to be a whole flower bed right there. And hopefully bring in all good bugs and insects and we'll go from there. And also I plan on making a, uh, our uh, flowering uh, little orchard in the background there. So we'll have all kinds of insects flying around there once the trees get bigger. But that will be a while. And then I'll come through the garden and boom, boom, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Which supposedly is supposed to work. I don't know how. But I'm not against using uh, insects, pesticides, or what do you call it? Is it pesticides? I'm not really against using it as long as because... I don't like using it when people do it at the store because they just dump it out there for no reason. Half the time it's very bad for everything and they just kill everything. But if I'm using it in our little garden, like, if, you, if it's absolutely necessary, I would rather use pesticides and get food and have a little bit of pesticides in it rather than, like, not having any food at all. So if it gets bad, we'll use pesticides. But so far, last year we didn't have to, but we haven't actually used pesticides in a long time. We've been using uh, all natural remedies like, uh, what do you call it, neem oil and... Uh, Dietary earth, which works pretty well for the most part, but sometimes it gets really, really bad. Like this year, it might be really bad because, well, I say that, but now it's getting cold because it wasn't really that cold, but now it's getting really cold. So the squash bugs should all be dead now because it's usually this is why it's so bad down south to do it because down south it doesn't get warm, cold enough to kill the bugs off and you get just get swamp of bugs. But we're not in the south, we're in like the mid eastern of the country, so and in the mountains, so it gets pretty cold. So, yeah, anyways, guys, we'll be oh, up there in the garden. Also, I'm thinking about making another plot. Maybe two, just because we need more room to grow stuff. Like, I really want to grow watermelons and pumpkins, but we don't really have room for it. And I also want to grow more corn and potatoes. I want to do, like, I want to do, like, a plot, like, art, like as big as a plot we have now for the garden. Do one in corn and one in potatoes, and then one do, and then do one for, like, tomatoes and peppers, and do another one for squash and cucumbers, and then do one for tomatoes. Or, and, and, yeah, so we, I don't know. And then I want to preserve, like, all of our food, but I'm not really in preserving food all that much like we just basically eat it from the garden and what we don't eat we give away but this year we have a dehydrator so i'm going to really focus on dehydrating literally everything that we get because you can literally dehydrate anything come on jake we're not going up there come on so i'm gonna try to preserve as much food as i can 
this year and maybe even can some, which I have no idea how to can. My mom and dad does. They grew up on canned food, like they used to do all the time. But I've never canned a food in my life. So what we'll to Well, technically, I have fermented food now, but <laughs> fermenting and canning is two different beasts. Like fermenting, you just literally add salt water and to a food and boom, you're good to go. But canning, like some food you got pressure can, which I don't really know what the heck a pressure can even is. Pressure canner, like my mom's afraid to use it. So she usually water bath or thing, which is still heating hot water and this is a whole mess and i don't really want to mess with it dehydrating is pretty simple because you just stick it in the dehydrator and stick them in jars basically <laughs> it's pretty cool but anyway guys i'll come back in a little bit pull them back get some some hi guys i'm back it's been a while since i talked to you guys but that's here right dad anything to say you gonna say anything are you gonna stare into the abyss mm -hmm. and at your at your your talkie box <laughs> at your moving picture box What'd you think when you saw your first TV? <laughs> Did you have a TV as a kid? No. Your whole childhood or just later on? Or... No. Since I was little, since it came out. Well, when did it come out? Like the 50s? Yep. And you had one since then, huh? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> what about a color TV? Did you crep yourself when you had a color TV? Yep. Did you really? What about when you had cable for the first time? I didn't have cable till I got married. Yeah, what would you what you think then? I didn't stay in bed and watch TV all day. Well, you did not. Yep. <laughs> what'd you think when you turned the TV at like 80 channels? What'd you think? I liked it more than 80 channels. There was a lot of stuff on there. He's more than three you grew up with. <laughs> yeah, I like paying for it. I thought it should have been free. <laughs> yeah, you, you get... What about when you had a satellite for the first time? Well, your mom had satellite and your uncle had... Remember your uncle had a free satellite? Remember back in the old days when it was free? All you do is get a satellite and you got it for free, remember? I my brother had it. Yeah, I know. What did well, you... My uncle had it too. Yeah, he had a big satellite that you could get for free. You could get everything for free. You had to pay for a satellite. Yeah, but every, it was still free. Yeah, it was taken for free. Yeah, which they the satellite got... Satellite was like 3000 bucks. I almost bought one myself down there. They got pissed off about it. Well, cable did. Yeah, cable did. Yeah. It wasn't fair to them. Which I don't even know. Should all be free? Like in the old days. I can make some money, I guess. <laughs> it's called ads. That's how YouTube yeah. makes their money. It's true. What? Mac in my day. What about the internet? What did you think when you saw your first computer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you even see the ones when he was like giant in the, in the when he was like the set? Times he was on Star Trek. <sighs> really? No. What did you think when you saw your first cell phone, your smartphone? Did you lose your mind? Mm. Did you? I seen that on Star Trek too. <laughs> they didn't have cell phones on Star Trek. The communicators. Yeah, but they don't do as much as your phone. Bring me up, Scotty. I don't remember. Yeah, but your phone does more. If you think about it, your phone does do more. It's not like it now if the communicators are hooked up to the main computer and you can search through stuff. Yeah, it'd be like a cell phone, but it's not. It's just a communic. It's basically a walkie-talkie on a global scale. Or, well, yeah, basically a walkie-talkie on a global scale. Turn that off. You turn it off. You gonna fight? <laughs> you gonna fight with me? You gonna fight with me? Nope. Yeah, you are. It's always like a good fight. No views, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's the first one to watch it. Because <laughs> there's 14 seconds when you start watching it. Mm -hmm. If you update, it'd be like probably a couple thousand by now. If you refreshed it. About 500. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So, you ready for the garden yet? I'm ready. <laughs> now we don't order seeds. Mm -hmm. I told you to order seeds. Yeah, and... we need some freaking seeds. Well, she won't yeah. order it until she gets paid or someone gets paid. I get paid. Yeah. She will both get paid. Whatever. So I gotta wait a couple days. I want corn. Just get the corn you got last year. That was pretty good. Candy corn. Why? Because you said you like candy corn. I did, but the other stuff we had was pretty good. Well, we're gonna do candy it, corn this year. Good. We're gonna do candy corn this well, year. I'm not sure it's gonna grow. Well, it grew good last year. Well, well candy corn didn't have stuff there. But well, it's still corn. I mean, it was like short and. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty big. Yeah, one of them was like eight feet tall. One of them was. A couple of them was. I can't even get big. Yeah. The stuff I did. did. 
Because you threw it in, in horse crap. Yeah. Horse manure. Back in the old days when you had a horse. We need to get a horse. We need a barn. You imagine what we could do we had a barn. Yep. Yeah. We could get a big dog and... A tractor. A <laughs> bunch of cats. Barn cats. Bunch of chickens. Yeah. We could actually get goats and maybe some pigs and... Just think of the possibilities. You can get a metal barn for like 10 grand. You know that? Well, somebody would get a job. How is that going to help any? Tell me. I'll pay for it. How? I mean, how? My measly 100 bucks a week ain't going to do nothing. You mean more than 100 a week. I know. It'd be like 500 every paycheck if I worked part... Well, actually, nowadays, you could probably work like $20 an hour, probably. Seriously, if anyone wants to work, you could go in and be like, Hey, I'll work for 15 bucks an hour. No less, I'll probably pay you because they don't got no more. <laughs> what? I can teach you some skills. What skills do you have? Landscaping, janitor. <laughs> Landscaping? Yep. Uh huh. How about we just grow a big garden and grow, go to the farmer's Super, market? Supervisor. Yeah, but you're not now. I never have to put all that stuff down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> guys, I'll come back in a few minutes. Hi, hey, guys, I'm back. Good, good vlog. Did really do all day. Talked about the garden, talked about that a little bit. The same old, same old. I'm talking about the garden, but we have like three months, maybe four, until we get actually plant a garden. Maybe, I don't know, January, very March. Yeah, about three or four months, roughly. I don't even know if we're going to be able to plant a garden. I'm really going to really do no till. We'll see how that goes. I'm just going to chop it up with a little more and be done with it. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it dies and doesn't grow back. But if it does, oh well, we'll have grass in the garden. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll roll the outro. Bye, guys. I'm back. If you made it this far, I want to say a big thank you. Because watching a lot of my videos like this, if you watch to the end, leave something below. Like banana or lemon. or Leave, leave your favorite fruit below if you watch this far. Well, it'll be our little secret. To anyone who doesn't watch to the end, you won't know what's happening in the comments. One, because comments are good for the algorithm. And two, watch you do my videos and it's good for the algorithm. So if you guys want to do that, it'll be awesome. Also, there's videos here, here, and here. There's two bits on my face, and then there's my channel to click underneath my face to subscribe. That'd be great also. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Woo!